saved from certain death, and tasked with a mysterious destiny as one of the marked. Jeanne has been instructed to meet a wizard Zandalor at the Dwarven Bread Inn, but before she can get there, she must cross hostile territory. Barrels? Will I find anybody at the end? A cat? Gizzy? Is that you? Hello, Paul's incident. You're a fair wizard by the looks of you. Can you magic food out of thin air? Hello, fellow unfortunate. What's the news? I can tell yon boy Duke Janus is a corny self, the divine one, bold as brass. I hope for his sake that he's right. Gods can get very nasty if you can go claiming to be their chosen one when you're not. Leastways, that's what my old mum told me when I was a little un. Thanks for your time, my friend. Janice. Ah, oh, my cat. Cat. Hello? Is it you, Kitty? Did you make it here? Oh, I'll catch up with you when you're not ratting. Hmm. Things don't look too well here. Hello, Dorian. Arms for a leper, arms for a leper. Can you spare a few pennies for a leper, good wanderer? The gods be kind to those who are kind to others. Don't look like a leper to me. Put you in clean clothes and you look as healthy as a duke himself. Here you are, spend the money wisely. You're the kindest, most understanding person I've ever met in my whole miserable life. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Um, so where's this inn then? I seem to have reached a settlement of some kind. Where am I? Of course it isn't. Of course it's impossibly the same poor citizen that I met before. Um, let me check my map. In greater detail. Um, oh yeah, there's a series of buildings around here. There might be something to the north as well. That could be the inn, couldn't it, on the road? Um, but I'll, I'll wander around these houses a little first. Seems life is hard around here. Soldiers. Oh, hello, doggy. <coughs> oh, you won't be my friend. Um, guards, guards, guards. Guards? Good evening, <coughs> citizen. Can we be of the town watch be of assistance? I didn't news lately, officer. <coughs> nothing, citizen. Move on. There's nothing to see here. Thanks for your time, officer. Piggy! Can a piggy be my friend? No, apparently not. So, oh, hello. Hello, Dr. Elrath. How's the research into finding a cure for the plague going? Mm, nothing. I found nothing so far. I'm going home now to continue my researches. But if there's a significant increase in the number of the afflicted, come and get me immediately. As you say, Doctor. I think I found Rivertown. Curious. Okay. I trust this soldier. Good morrow, miss. Is there anything the watch can do for you? Excuse me, officer. I have business elsewhere. Your dialogue is the same as the other guards. So this is, uh, yeah, I reckon this is Rivertown. Interesting. And there's some hobbles on the outside. I wonder where that doctor lives. <coughs> Hello, doggy. The guard's here. Are you alright, poor citizen? You always admire the looks of you. Can you magic food out thin air? What's the latest news, sis? I ain't heard nothing. Wait a few times, sister. I suppose there's a bit of sister in around. Yeah, this is definitely not the inn, is it? More guards. Where were you when the orcs were attacking you? 
Not that I need your help, you see. Yeah, I'm not surprised that all the containers around here are empty. This is a very poor part of the world. Jonas. Hello, name character. My name's Jonas. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen you in this part of town at all. Maybe you need a guide? The poor section is a bit of a maze. We should even dive through the poor section. The poor section of town is a rough place, my friend. Incautious people are robbed or even murdered in the back alleys. Last week, for example, the town watch found the corpses of three drunks who used to sleep on the streets. I can look after myself. Thank you anyway. Listen, this place has its own rules. Just because you can look after yourself out in the wilds, I don't mean you're any safer than a lost babe in town. Here, somebody wants you dead, he won't challenge you in the open. They'll just find you next morning with a knife in your back. Excuse me, time to go. So, I mean, I don't really have a cause to be in anybody's hovel at the moment. Ah, Kitty? Oh, who's this person? I'm more excited about the Kitty. <laughs> what a wonderful day. <laughs> By your breath, I bet you can recommend the local ale, can't you? Which when you are clean and halfway sober, not before. Okay. Oh. Oh. Where's the kitty? Kitty. Kitty? Kitty. I can't interact with this kitty. Oh my. Well, that's very disappointing. So there should be an inn around here somewhere. Is this this looks like the inn? The Blue Boar Inn. Okay, let's explore around here. Logan, are you the drunk Logan? We're in the morning. Hey, nimble fingers, I know your name. Give me back my money, or I'll take it back with your blood on it. Seeing from me was your last mistake, so I'm prepared to visit to, to the hell pit reserved for cup persons. Oh. Uh, so, uh, this drunk robbed me, apparently, without my knowledge. Uh, I'm not sure what they robbed me of. I can't remember how much money I had. I still got me spider and me. Exciting gem. Uh, probably those things. Oh, it's a, it's a healing potion. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, take your money. Let, well, let me go now. Get lost. That's just my money. Well, that's an exciting side quest that I didn't realise I had. This is the kind of life I expected to live. Chasing after drunks who stole some of my money. Not this quest nonsense. Flowers. Can't even make friends with the kitties. Well, I think I can get around this side of the. I can get around this side of the. No. It's a fact. Okay. Just the movie in there. Entries to my map. So, this is the bar. It says River Town. So I can navigate my way there when I need to. And this is the Blue Ball Inn. So it's this map here. Blue Ball Inn. Let's have a look at the wider picture. So I'm not that far from the barracks. Interesting. I'm going to explore around the inn and then hopefully get a room for the night. Hi, kitty. Oh. 
Welcome to Blue Boar Inn, home of good eating and bad hangovers. <laughs> Clearly run by some wits. Well, I can bundle the straw and then unbundle the straw. These are exciting skills I never realised I had. Anything in this bar? Taste that, taste nothing. Oh, nice. I need to rest somewhere else. I don't want to be caught unaware by the owner of this bed. Oh, my, well, you can rest in a straw bed. That's nice. Any useful things in this bar? Or stables, I guess it is. Staples, I reckon. So, let's head to the inn. Hopefully, get a good night's rest. Is anyone around? Hello? desk. Curious. That looks like the drinking room. What's through here? Oh, this might be the accommodation. Indeed, it looks like bedrooms. I'd better go to the, um, the bar first. Strange that there's no one around. Maybe there aren't many travellers on the road. Ah, welcome, welcome to the Blue Bar Inn, good friend. You shall find the finest wine for sale in my establishment. It is common knowledge. But where are my manners? My name is Splinter, and I am at your service. Splinter? Yes, that is my name. I own the Blue Boar. And I am your host and faithful servant. Uh, I've broken something to clear the dust from my throat, Splinter. Do you have any gossip of what is going on around here these days? Our old duke is dead. Apparently he fell off his horse while hunting. His son, Janus, now is the new duke. This is added political complications that I don't really need. But, sure. Um... I'd like to clear the dust from my throat, Slinter. I've got water, beer, ale, Geneva, wine, cheese, bread, dinner. New club. Meat. Who doesn't love meat? Vegetarians and vegans. Um, well, that's fine, but I have meat. So if I were in need of meat, I could meet my own needs. Um, I seem to be a lot, a lot more cash. Oh no, that's my toe, because the spider, I think. I don't have a lot more cash in common you. Um, you see, we're saying the finest stuff. Okay, sure. Uh, see you around. Waitress neutral. Hello, I am rather busy right now. Please talk to the bartender if you want a drink. No worries. Tavern guest? Neutral tavern guest? Oh, my. Unattended food. <laughs> my goodness. Doggy? Ooh, El Gammon. Sounds like a big cheese. Tavern guest. Tavern guest looks especially like the person who's menacing George, his dealer. Tavern guest. Poor citizen, old oh, poor citizen. That cheese, poor citizen. That cheese. Um, how do I get a room? I'd like a room. Interesting. It's 
spoons, huh? Can I have a ring? I'll leave some dwarven bread in. The dwarven bread in? Bah! If you wish to sample their rinse water ale and last written beds, then you will find them to the east. Um, I'm looking for a bed myself, Splinter. Who, who do I need to talk to? There's lots of little bits here I could try and help myself to, but I suspect... Um... So where is this old gammon that was around? Okay. I have reservations, but maybe if I talk to some of the patrons here, I can find out more about what's going on. How adventurer! I'm glad you've found your way to me. I've just the things you'll be needing. Rare magical items, powerful artifacts, all promising opportunities, my friend. Ah, oh, music to my ears. Magic artifacts. Quick, show me what you have to offer. Uh, sure, let's, let's see. I've got something really special for you. What about a magic carpet? A carpet? Do I look like a housewife to you? Why would I need a carpet? I said magic carpet. If you lay it on the floor and say the magic word written on the washing instruction label there, it will fly. It will carry you wherever you want. Uh, that would be useful. How much do you want for it? Don't cheap to you, Governor. Only 500 gold pieces. Right, I don't think I'm interested. Oh well, Gammon. Uh, so how do, I, how do I find a room? How do I get a room here, folks? Hello, miss. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this, eh? Hello, friend. Any time gossip going about? We were just telling ghost stories. You hear the one about the haunted abbey just now? Fear gave me the shivers. All those dead monks doomed to wander in that place for all eternity. They must have done great wickedness to deserve such a fate. Well, thanks for your time. See you later. This place is beset. Hello, miss. What a nice girl like you being in a place like this, eh? What's the uh, word around the bar, friend? I don't like this news of the orcs massing the south of the orc raids up near Alaroth. Sounds to me like the bastards are using the teleport stones across the country. All the racers start doing that, it'll be the end of civilization, I tell you. We'll never know when an attacking arm might pop out of nowhere and attack us from an unexpected direction. A few times, see you later. Such cheerful people. I don't think there's much to be gained here. I just need a bed for the night, thanks. Ah! Who's this? A citizen, a concerned citizen. Where can I find... A room? I shall quick save. And then attempt some of these doors. Hello? Can I just sleep? No. So how do I get a bed for the night? Am I not allowed a bed for the night? This is very strange. This is strange business. It's another empty room. What's this book? Collected notes on Trim Daedalus, the Assassin, Part 2. Mayhap it was ill-fated love for the farm girl that led the desperate Trim Daedalus to the dark door of the Assassin's Guild. There he trained day and night to perfect his skills, and he soon found much employment with many noblemen. Some say that once so marked, a victim was merely a walking, talking corpse until Trim silenced them forever. Some even say that Trim once paid a visit to the farm girl that wounded him so. Right. Uh, I suppose it's exciting bedtime reading for somebody. Um, I'm confused why I can't pay for a room in this inn. Um, somebody seems to have a very well appointed room here. Where do I... Another bed that I can't sleep in, presumably. Oh, there's a back door there. Yeah. So who do I speak to about getting a room? 
what I want to name. Oh. Golly, what is this? Is that a fetus? Liba Monstorum. A fighting skeleton. I hope to never encounter one of those. Terrifying. You cannot rest here. Where on earth is the proprietor of this inn? Harriet. Hi, Harriet. Good morrow to you. Hello, nice to meet you. How are you? Good. What's good about this day? The things are looking so bad. Stay with me, beggar. Don't you here to steal from us on this folk. Maybe I should go and form the guards. Hello, nice to meet you. Not too well, but regarding the conditions, but I, I wish I could leave here from here as soon as possible. You cannot leave? I have the impression that you're looking for someone, something. Maybe I can help. Good. What's good about that? Oh. Yeah, let's see if I can help. Yes, I'm looking for somebody, that's true. You see, my family and I lived in a cottage in a village over yonder. Then the orcs burnt the village and pillaged everything. We had to run for our lives with only what we could carry to our names. Where's your family now? They're already on their way to the farmlands. I'm planning to follow them as soon as possible. Good plan, but be careful of these roads. There are many rogues and bandits abroad. Aye, I know, but we're poor people. Why should they slay us? If they see, we have no money to steal. But before I can go, I have to tell my uncle that we're leaving, and where he can come find us. Where does your uncle live? He lives in Vodistis. If I could find somebody who could deliver a letter to him, maybe you're going to Vodistis in the near future? Would you take him our letter? I, of course, I'll do you the favour. We must all help each other in these hard times. What's the name of your uncle, and where can I find him? Thank you! That's so very kind of you. And the name of our uncle is Afrasan. You should find him in the distance easily enough. He is the innkeeper of the Duke Galeen. I'll leave very soon before fresh calamities before me. Thank you again, stranger. Good luck, go with you. Well, that's exciting. Where is the distance? Anyone? The distance, anyone? Can't get smaller. So, this is. I have a feeling if I want to get to the Arch School, I've got to go into River Town post or during the pandemic, uh, which I don't really fancy. Um, Jim Alex Army Barracks. Oh, well, you know, I might get to the distance one day. Farewell, Harriet. Um, can I man sleep in your bed? Oh, well, let's see if I can go out the back. Find the back entrance of the inn. There might be like a beer garden I can go in. So, citizen, you're not the innkeeper, are you? Who goes there? You're a stranger to me. What are you doing out this late at night? Oh, is it late at night? Maybe that's why there's nobody around. Hello, fellow citizen. What's the news today? Food is getting scarce. They say that there's been a crop blight and a lot of troubles with trolls in the farmlands. I hope there's enough to last the towns through till next spring. But with all these war refugees coming in, I'm doubting it. I'm building up a private stockpile of food, and I've bought a crossbow to guard it with. Thank you for your time, good citizen. Oh, that was a strange quaffing sound. So, can I... There's no dialogue option for staying the night. Can I purchase staying the night as a... There's an option. Bread, cheese. No. Just drinking food. Very strange. Is this indeed a strange inn? Sorry, I did, didn't mean to uh, bomb into you there. So maybe I can just go through this door? That's right. The back room. Whoa! Look at the rate! That hunk of meat is roasting itself over that fire. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I wonder if I can use a worn pot as some armour. Broom? 
It's a pretty good broom. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Oh, there's a hatch to a cellar. I just want a room to sleep in, please. If there's not too much to ask. Oh my. There's a bed here. I sleep in this bed. No. Oh. Chickens, cows. What delightful. Was well, the chicken house contains nothing? Oh, all the chickens are out. Hey, can I rest in the? Ah, I can. I can sleep next to the chicken coops, but I couldn't pay for a room. That's amazing. Okay, I think I've exhausted the real resource of this inn. Where was the door? How do I find the door again? There we go. Phew. All right, let's um. What's this manuscript? To Agnes Afrasam, the Ducal Inn Vedicious. Oh, this is my quest. Dear Uncle Agnes, thank the holy gods we are still alive. The last orc attacks were terrible and destroyed the whole village. Our house lies in ruins, but we're lucky just to be alive. Our neighbours died in the flames, and Conroy, the landlord, lost his eldest son. We're going to leave this area soon, and we'll head towards Stormfist Castle. Oh, I've heard bad things about Stormfist Castle. The Duke has got to help us, or we'll die. Then we will try to reach my brother in the farmlands. May the holy gods guide us. I hope this letter will reach you. Dear uncle, but it has to pass the battlegrounds. So if it ends in the stomach of some stinking orc, I hope the ink poisons it. I daydream of when we will meet again in better times. Please send us some gold if you can spare any. We have lost everything of value. Either way, may the holy gods bless you and keep you safe. All our love, Harriet. Fair enough. Baronofsky. What's that on the hatch? Ooh. Stuff. I mean, I'm not going to go robbing this in. Just have an abundance of curiosity, I suppose. Interesting. I do have lots of stuff, uh, but I don't, I don't need to be here. To be honest, I don't know why they couldn't have offered me a room. I think it might be morning, and I'm going to head to Oh, you know, friend, I've got a nose for villains. Someone comes creeping around me, and I immediately know if they're up to no good. I don't like your smell, so I suggest you take it somewhere else before I call the watch. Understand? Well, if you'd, you know, let me pay for a room... Well, you know, I mentioned that I wanted a room. Might have helped. Goodness me. I took nothing of yours, old man. 